Hello guys, I'm Sachin and this is Mr. Dropbox and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create an IP finder project using Java. As you can see here, there is going to be a text field. If uh, I'll write a new web URL, I can write the URL to my website which is www.amistrypacks.com and if I'll click on this uh, find button, it will throw me the IP address of my website as you can see here. So if you want to learn that, just continue watching this video. Okay, we are going to start off by creating our new Java project and I am going to name my Java project as uh, IP Finder. You can name it anything, it's just a matter of reference. And now uh, we will click on this finish button here and it will create a folder for the project. In the SRC, I am going to create a new class, class for my project. I am going to name my class as IP Finder. First of all, I am going to start my project by importing some packages. And the first one is going to be Java Store Swing. And into the next line, I am going to import the Java to AWT dot event. Yep, that's it. And into the next line, I am going to import the net package. And for that, we write the Java. Java. First, we write the import. I'm going to import java.net. That's it. And then we, uh, I'm going to extend my IP Finder class. So I'll just write extend. And then I'll write the JFrame class. And then I'll write the implements the action listener abstract class. That's it. And then into the IP Finder class, I will create some JFrame variables. First is going to be the J label. So I'll just write the J label and name it as L. And into the next line, I will create another variable which is going to be J text field. And I'm going to name it as PF. And then I'll create the third and last one variable which is going to be J button. So I'll just write the J button equals to P. Then we will create a constructor for our class. Um, you can't name it anything, you have to name it same as your class. Um, inside the constructor, I am going to construct uh, about those uh, declared variables. So I'll just write uh, l equals to new text field. Actually, sorry, l is the label, so I'll write the j label. Um, yeah, and there is uh, going to be space between the new and j label. And inside the parameter of the label, I will write uh, and, uh, the, any address. You can write anything that you want it to be written by default in your program. So I'll just write the end to the address. And uh, okay, I messed up the spelling. It is going to be here. And uh, yeah, I will, I'm going to throw a super also. And uh, inside the whatever you will write the inside the parameter of super is going to be the uh, just name of your project, so title of project here actually. So I'll just write the IP finder. You can write anything, it's your choice. And into the next line, I'm going to construct the text field. So I'll write TF equals to new J text field. And inside the parameter of the text field, I will pass nothing and then I'll create a new button. And so B equals to new J button. And inside J button's parameter, I will write the find. Well, it's your choice. You can name your button anything. I'll name it as a find. And then we are going to set the bounds for our variables. So I'll write l dot set bounds. And the boundaries I'm going to add are going to be 50 by um, 70, I think. And then the 150 and 20. And the boundaries uh, that are going to be for the text field are, I think uh, I'll start it by, uh, this is 50, 100, 200, and 20. And into the next line, we'll set the bounds for the button. So we'll write B dot uh, set bounds. And inside the parameter of set bounds, I uh, will pass uh, 50 and uh, 150 and uh, 
80 and 30 that's it and for the button I am also going to attach uh, action listener with a uh, button so I'll just write the b dot add uh, action listener because I want to listen to my button something whenever I click on it so I will just pass uh, this here so it will be implemented for every instance of this class and then I will just write add because I we have to add these all text field and buttons to our window so I will write add L for the label add TF for the text field and add B for the button and into the next line we will write uh, we will actually set the size for our uh, default window of our project so uh, the resolution I'm going to give it is going to be as uh, 360 by 360 you can give it uh, any resolution you want it's your choice and uh, into the next line I'm going to write the set layout and uh, inside the set layout uh, I will pass null because I don't want any any layout uh, okay and inside the uh, not inside into the next line we will write uh, uh, set visible uh, and uh, visibility is going to be true because yeah, of course we want to see all these and so we we'll write true here and then we'll create our main method so we'll write public static void main and uh, inside the parameter of main we'll pass, uh, pass the as a default string and uh, argument and inside main we are going to create uh, the we are going to actually call the constructor of our main class not the main yeah we have only single class so the constructor of the class so whenever our project starts it will call the main and the main will create the call the constructor and then we are going to create a new method which is going to be uh, the fourth one uh, named as action perform and inside the parameter of it we are going to pass uh, the action event e and inside this we will first uh, write uh, to create a string because there is uh, something wrong with it okay yeah i forgot to first write the e and as now you see the error is gone because we now are actually using the abstract class method okay then we we'll inside the method we we'll write uh, uh, we'll create a string named as url and inside the url we are going to uh, store the value that the value we there will uh, enter into the text field is going to be stored into this url string and into the next line we we'll create we'll write actually uh, uh, i internet that's it. So it's the I internet, it's just the internet address and internet address. Yeah, I is for the internet address. Uh, I'm lazy with the label name. And okay, I miss the D. Then we write uh, dot get by name and inside here we'll just write the URL. And in the next line we'll write uh, the we'll actually create another scene. Which is going to be named as IP and inside IP we are going to store the IA dot get host address so whatever our internet address host name is going to be will be stored into this IP string and then we will create a J option panel so we will write J option pen dot show text so actually message default so message and the message we want is uh, of course the IP address so we we'll just write this for the object and for the message we want the string value of IP so we we'll write the IP dot uh, okay this number is yeah of course we have to uh, of course we have to write a try and catch it up because uh, there are going to be some chances that uh, when we don't find any IP address so we don't want our program to be um, crashed at time so we create an uh, uh, exception for that and the uh, uh, 
name of the exception is going to be unknown host exception e1 yeah of course we will use e1 because we have already used the e so we will just write here j option panel for the case the case when we don't find any address we will at that time we are going to show a message the message is going to be first from the for, for current object and the message is going to be ip even dot to string because we want to print the string value of the whatever our exception name is so i think that's it and okay there is something wrong with the uh, exception name yeah okay i just missed the e not missed actually it is going to be a smaller one so just don't make it the capital one and that's it now if we now if we we'll try to run our project as you can see here it says enter the address and if i think everyone is familiar with google so i just write the www.google.com and if i will click on this find button as you can see here here you get the ip address so that's it for this video right guys thanks for watching like if you like it and please subscribe to the channel